So you're trying to build a website, and you've been told you need this thing called web hosting. What is web hosting? When do you need it? And where should you buy it? Today we're going to be comparing some names you've heard of before, and some you probably haven't. This video is sponsored by True Name Domains. Find the perfect domain for your brand at the link in the description below. A big part of branding is an online presence. Developing and maintaining a website is a necessary step in brand and business development these days, especially now that building a website is easier than ever before. You want to do it right, and you'll quickly find out that an integral part of building a website is web hosting. That's great, but what is web hosting? Well, a web hosting account is simply a section of a server or a beefy computer that holds the website files that you create or the files that a website builder creates for you. Web hosting at its basic form is like having a Dropbox or a Google Drive account. You're paying for file storage on a cloud platform. So does everyone need web hosting? If you load a page on the internet, it's hosted on a server somewhere. So while every website needs web hosting, you might not need to purchase web hosting for your website. If you're using a platform like Wix, Squarespace, or Shopify, these are hosted platforms. This means you just pay one monthly fee to access the website builder, and they'll automatically host it for you on their own in-house hosting. And this is very important to know. WordPress.com and WordPress.org are two very different things. WordPress.com is a hosted website builder. WordPress.org is a free website builder where you have to bring your own web hosting to use it. Since WordPress is the most common reason you'd purchase web hosting, this video will focus on web hosting from a WordPress perspective. Now, you might be thinking, cool, I'm confident I need web hosting, but where do I buy it? GoDaddy? After all, GoDaddy is a household name for domains and web products. GoDaddy is the main player in this space, and chances are you've heard of them. If you've watched my channel before, you know I'm not a fan of GoDaddy. They're known for selling you stuff you don't need, overcharging you every step of the way, and having lackluster customer service. But GoDaddy has been stepping it up in the hosting department, and I decided to give their WordPress hosting a shot. The value proposition is impressive for the introductory plan at $11.99 a month. You get daily automated backups, a malware scanner, and free SSL for the lifetime of the hosting account. For those of you who know GoDaddy, you'll know they're always trying to upsell you things like an SSL certificate, so to see it included for free is shocking. Also shocking is the included staging environment, a valuable tool for more advanced web users. Staging environments are a recent addition to hosting plans from some higher-end hosting providers. GoDaddy offers WordPress staging capabilities in their deluxe plan at $17.99 a month. I gotta say, this WordPress hosting from GoDaddy is actually decent. I'm used to GoDaddy products being comically bad, but GoDaddy is stepping up their game. Unfortunately, I have serious reservations about recommending GoDaddy for any reason due to the culture of their company. They're still classic GoDaddy, selling other products and services no one needs for an absurd fee and having lackluster customer support. They do offer phone support, and the reps have always been easy to understand, but they aren't very helpful. And forget it with the live chat support. These reps can never seem to understand basic questions. So while GoDaddy's hosting is actually quite decent, I wouldn't touch GoDaddy with a 10-foot pole. It's not worth it for the deception and frustration that's sure to take place when you become a GoDaddy customer. And this is where it's important to understand, not all web hosting is created equal. There's no one best web hosting for everyone, so here are some hosts worth considering for different use cases. If you're on a budget, it is possible to get decent starter web hosting. Namecheap offers web hosting starting at $288 per month. This is not going to be the best hosting ever, but it gets the job done. Namecheap hosting uses cPanel, a common management panel for web hosting. The overall theme at Namecheap is it gets the job done. cPanel feels more clunky and dated than ever, and the base plan is definitely sluggish. It gets the job done, it's just not lightning fast. There's no fancy dashboard to manage WordPress, but you can still install it with a few clicks. It actually is possible to use a staging environment with Namecheap through Softaculous. As far as security goes, Namecheap has you covered. Kind of. SSL is free for the first year, but Namecheap will charge you for each additional year. An SSL certificate gives you that lock icon in your browser and ensures that your website is running on a secure protocol. 
I wish SSL was forever free like every other host on this list, but I suppose you get what you pay for. When it comes to getting help, you hope for quality, competent customer support to resolve issues. With Namecheap, unfortunately there's no phone support, and their live chat support, well, gets the job done. For basic issues or questions, it's speedy and smooth. For more complex issues, expect to wait 30 minutes or longer to get issues resolved, but they will help you out and get it taken care of. One really important aspect of web hosting is automatic backups. As you make changes to your website, it's impractical to remember to back it up each time. That's why I personally won't buy web hosting unless it has automatic daily backups. Namecheap does offer this on the Stellar Plus plan for $4.88 per month, but it's missing in the $2.88 per month introductory plan. Overall, Namecheap is the best starter web hosting for anyone on a tight budget. It's no frills, it won't be a luxury experience, but you can get your website hosted for half the cost of a Starbucks coffee per month. But let's say you want to spend a whole Starbucks coffee on web hosting every month. If you've got more to work with, I'd take a look at DreamHost. Starting at $8 a month, DreamHost comes with WordPress pre-installed and an updated management panel that's refreshingly simple compared to cPanel. SSL is free for life, and the certificate is installed and renewed automatically. DreamHost speeds feel similar to Namecheap's Stellar Plus plan, and you're getting a more polished experience all around. That's not to say it doesn't have its quirks. The automatic backup management is goofy. Instead of simply seeing a dropdown of available backups, picking the desired date, and restoring, DreamHost gives you a series of options. You can restore the most recent backup, a mid-range backup, or the oldest backup. I prefer panels that give me a dropdown of dates I can restore from, but I do appreciate that every single DreamHost plan, even the cheapest plan, offers automatic backups. Here's the insanely cool thing about DreamHost. They offer a 97-day money-back guarantee. This is already crazy generous, but it gets better. If you cancel your hosting at any time within the 97 day window, everything you've paid for up to that point is automatically refunded. This just goes to show you how confident DreamHost is in their offerings, and I think it's a great option for starter hosting that's a step up from Namecheap. Regardless of where you like to buy your domains or hosting, it's important to find the perfect domain for your brand. This brings us to today's sponsor, TrueName Domains. Your domain should clearly describe who you are and what you do. It's a more significant part of your brand than ever before. Good domains are notoriously difficult to find. What you think is your perfect choice is already taken, or it's not clear what your options are. The great news is that there are new domain options that are not only available, but more relevant and memorable. Most people know about .com domains, but there are actually hundreds of other domain extensions that you can use that are often a better fit for your brand and business. A lot of these fall under the brand of TrueName domains. TrueName domains have anti-phishing technology which blocks malicious variations of your domain being registered and used by hackers. They're more specific, prevent compromise, and tell people exactly what you do and what you're about. They're also treated the same in SEO as legacy extensions. There are true name extensions for brands spanning almost any niche you can think of. So if you're a creator, you could use a .studio. If you're a gamer or live streamer, you could get a .live domain. I'm so excited to bring my community a special offer for you to get your own domain for your project, whether it's one you're actively working on or something you plan to launch in the future. My friends at Dynadot are offering 50% off standard true name domains for my community. I recently got the domain Krayler.academy to use for my newly launched course workshop, which to me was a much better choice than KraylerAcademy.com. Go to the link in the description or go to Dynadot.deals to get the exclusive offer of 50% off with promo code Krayler. Simply search some of your preferred keywords and you'll be able to browse all of the available domains. I really want to know what the domains are that you chose. Go ahead and share the domain or domains that you got in the comments section so I can check it out. Thanks to TrueName for sponsoring this video, and now let's take a look at some premium hosting options. If you want a luxury WordPress hosting experience, Flywheel is for you. Starting at $15 a month, Flywheel is a reliable and effortless hosting experience that just works. Everything from the setup experience, management panel, and customer support are crafted to be clean and elegant. Flywheel is there to make your life easier, so you can spend more time on your business. Every Flywheel plan brings a smooth experience, and your site will be speedy on any plan. Flywheel plans are based on resources. 
Each plan has a cap of monthly visits, storage, and bandwidth. The tiny plan allows for 5,000 visits per month, and prices increase from there. Everything about Flywheel makes it a joy to use. SSL is included for free, you can manage full site backups with a click, and do everything you need to keep your site running smoothly. Flywheel has great chat support, but they don't offer phone support until you get to their agency plan for $290 a month. And that's the thing about Flywheel, the price balloons quickly. It's designed for bigger businesses that value performance, reliability, and ease of use over cost. If your site is getting close to 400,000 visits per month and you're making thousands of dollars per month from your business, what's $290 a month for web hosting? But for most of you, you're just looking for web hosting to get you started. I still feel that the Flywheel base plan is a good fit for this. So if you're looking for luxury hosting that just works and is a pleasure to use, look no further than Flywheel. Now we've covered a lot of scenarios and use cases, but one important aspect is how many websites you need to host. All of these web hosts have options for hosting multiple sites, but one host stands out in particular if you have several websites or are a freelance web designer. That web host is Cloudways, and it brings a similar luxury experience like Flywheel with a unique twist. At Cloudways, you get a dedicated hosting instance with a specific amount of RAM, storage, and bandwidth. It's your choice of an instance from DigitalOcean, Linode, Vulture, AWS, or Google Cloud Platform. Cloudways lets you host as many websites as you want on your hosting instance, but it's up to you to make sure you don't put too many websites on an instance where everything is running slow. Hosting options start at $10 a month for 1GB of RAM and 25GB of storage. Cloudways has a decent management panel, you'll get automatic backups for each website, free SSL for life, a staging environment, and basic controls over your instance. Cloudways is great for hosting enthusiasts who want the freedom to choose from different independent data centers, but it's also a great value overall for anyone hosting multiple websites. The chat support is mediocre. It's not nearly as good as Flywheel. The panel sometimes glitches and throws errors, but the support has always been able to help me out when this happens. Overall, Cloudways isn't as smooth as Flywheel, but you get what you pay for. A 2GB server for $22 a month could comfortably host 5-10 to 10 websites with moderate traffic. At Flywheel, you would be paying a minimum of $15 per site per month, so 5 sites would cost you $75 or more. Cloudways is my personal web host of choice. I have over 10 WordPress sites hosted on a 2GB Vulture high frequency instance, and I've been really happy with the reliability I've seen over the years. Cloudways is the only host on this list to offer a free trial, and everything is billed hourly. This means you can try it out for two weeks, decide to cancel, and you'll only get billed for two weeks of service. So these are the hosts I'd say are worth your time. If you're on a tight budget, go with Namecheap. If you've got a bit more to work with and don't mind spending more effort setting things up in exchange for some savings, give DreamHost a shot. If you're after that luxury, premium hosting experience, you have to try Flywheel. And finally, if you're a more advanced user seeking power and reliability, definitely check out Cloudways. Now I know what you're thinking. What about Bluehost, Hostinger, HostGator? What about all of these popular web hosts I didn't mention? Are they worth considering? Well, it's obviously a case-by-case -case basis, but for the three I mentioned, it's generally not worth your time to use them. You might find some gimmicks or features that look enticing, but these companies tend to have generally poor service and reliability and aren't known for quality. If you enjoyed this video, click here to discover the best place to buy domain names. And speaking of domains, don't forget to claim your true name domain for 50% off at the link in the description below. With that said, I'll catch you guys next time.